Okay, so we're at the king. Um, ah, who must be our guest? Welcome to the Dog Kingdom. I hope you've enjoyed your stay so far. I am King Eathos, the Dog King. You all have requested to see the exotic dogs of the Dog Kingdom, so I will allow you to see them, considering they caused you to travel here. Wait, so there actually are exotic dogs here? Yay! Can I go meet them? <laughs> of course! Let me tell you where you need to go to find them. Are there any other questions you have for me? I'll make sure that you will see all see the dog. We'll see the dogs. Um, our village isn't fully sentient. Do you know how to make people sentient? Hmm. I don't know. The dog kingdom has had sentient inhabitants since as far as I can remember, and I think that there have only been sentient people in the dog kingdom. I have heard about people not having sent you, but it has only been hearsay. If I were to guess how people could become sentient, it would be with magic. Not having sentience seems like something someone with magic could cause, and so I think that you need someone who could revert someone back to sentience. Uh, okay. Another question. How did you get the exotic dogs? Like, I don't think I've seen them before. Oh, the dogs? I got them from going on very extensive searches. They were very elusive, though, and took hard work and dedication to find. I see. Well, if that is the end of your questioning, I would like to have you guests join me to eat. I also would like to ask you all something. I'm in, but will there be chicken? If there is, I am definitely joining. There will be chicken if you want. Yep. I'm definitely joining. Really, Barry? What? Chicken's good. <sighs> Whatever. I'll also join you, Your Highness. Uh, I'll join. Okay, and so now I've got to eat. Oh, I'm not really that hungry. I've got to work on it all. It's kind of weird, but being hungry whenever go out and make a journey because I don't want to be rude. Wow, I could totally get used to this. Oh, wow, Elvius. Now, there's something I want to talk to you all about. In the Dog Kingdom, you may have noticed, but there are not as many people as there should be. The kingdom is also quieter and more solemn than it once was. That is because of a dryad that has been terrorizing the town. She has been killing anyone who tries to stop her, and originally started by attacking anyone who came close to where she lives. All of the brave have been killed by her, and all of the families are hurt deeply from the loss of their family. Would you adventurers help this kingdom by fighting her? If she is gone, then we can try and grow us a kingdom without any hindrances. You know what? We will help you. You would? I am grateful. We have rooms with beds that you can sleep in. The dogs are also there. Why is Petey growling? I've never heard him growl. Anyway, can I see my room? Sure. Which color would you like to have? We have red, yellow, pink, and green. Actually, I told your friend the way to the yellow room, so you can only choose one of the other three. The greed room, Himso, should show you where it is. Oh, well, Alias left. I really can't thank you all enough. I wish you all success. Also, I did read a book of, at your kingdom's library. It was called Ergon Biology and discussed the traits of your kind. Oh, you read a book on your kind? It's great that you've shown an interest. Most humans that have been here have been more focused on pointing out our differences than learning about us. You see, within our own kind, we have our difficulties. 
The columns with only tails are discriminated against because of tails being considered useless. There is no difference between a column with a tail and a column without one. The tails only show emotions that aren't able to grab things. A column with ears can hear more than an average human or an, a column with only a tail. As a king, I have to look out for a golems who don't have ears and only have a tail. I'm sure you read a bit about it, a bit of it from a book. That book, if I remember it correctly. Wow, you seem to know a lot. Could I ask you for a few points on how to lead? I am a leader too. I would tell you, but I think it should be for another day. Okay, I'm going to sleep then. Alright, which room would you want? There is a pink room and a red room left. Please choose pink. I know you even have a red backpack, but still. Serene should have chosen it, but he didn't. I don't want to go to a room that could be completely pink for all I know. You know what? I'll pick red. Suffer, Barry. No! Vilo, you show... Sorry, I didn't get your name. His name is Jado, and I'm Barry. I think I'll also go to sleep. Because it would be awkward to were to stay here and talk with him. In that case, I'll show Jado to his room, and Philo, show Barry to his. Isn't this great, Peter? You have your own beds, and there's also a dog bath as well. And is there food in these dog food bowls? Yeah, there is. It's great. It's just a great place. Oh my gosh! That's one of the exotic dogs! Oh my gosh, look at him! Oh my gosh! We've never seen a dog like this before. It really was worth coming here. I wonder how Serene is, because she's over in their other room, and she must be ecstatic. Oh my gosh. Huh?